Hello, this is your guitar teacher from Southeast Missouri. And uh, I want to talk to you young people today. Not about guitars, but about counting change, counting money when you work at a gas station or something like that at a grocery store. I noticed that a lot of you can't count change anymore. Uh, that used to be once one of the requirements when you went to work for a gas station that you could count change. Well, I went to the gas station the other day. My uh, I bought a little something to drink and the total came to $1.78. The girl behind the counter, I gave her a $5 bill. She could not figure out how to give me change without inputting the $5 bill into the machine and it told her what the change was. Uh, had her machine not have worked, she would have been up the creek without a paddle, not able to give me my correct change. So I'm gonna show you kids really quickly in, a, in, a, in the next minute how to count change the simplest way. It gets a little bit more complicated the further up you go, but it's still easy enough that anybody can do it. So this is how you count change. And it works with any denomination of uh, dollar bill, five dollar bill, 10, 20, whatever it is. Somebody comes up to your register, gives you a, uh, buy something for a dollar 78. They hand you a five dollar bill. You ring it up, of course, and the you can open your drawer without having to put in five dollars that they gave you. If it's a dollar seventy-eight, this is the best way to to do your uh, math in your head. A dollar seventy-eight is what they owe you. They give you a five-dollar bill. Just do this a few times, and it'll get easier as you go. A dollar seventy-eight. I know that if I have a drawer open and I have somebody hand me a five-dollar bill and I and they owe me a dollar seventy-eight, I can give them twenty-two cents back to make the two dollars. And this is how you do it. This is how you do it expressly. Pay attention now, young folks. $1.78 is what they owe me. They hand me a five. I first take two pennies out. That makes 78, 79, 80. That makes 80 cents. And then 20 cents on top of that makes a dollar. See, that would be, that would be 80 plus 20 is a dollar. See there? Now you've got $2 counted, $1.78 plus 22 cents is $2. You give them 22 cents plus, now you give them $3 back with that 22 cents because they owed you $1.78. You gave them 22 cents to make the $2, and then $3 on top of that is your five. And if it was a $10 bill they gave you, this works with any denomination anywhere. You could do it with $1.45, and then they gave you a $5 bill or 10 or 20 or whatever it is. You just have to count the money. So if they give you a $10 bill and uh, uh, they owed you $1.78, $10 bill, they owe you $1.78. You give them the 22 cents, makes the two, and then you give them $8 back and that makes the 10. That way you gave them how much? You gave them the 22 cents back, that makes it $2. And then you gave them up, so you gave them $8.22 back, and you kept $1.78 for your register. See how simple that is? Next time, we'll go a little, bit be a little bit deeper, but for now, that's a good way to get you started, so you young folks can start counting cash again, and make it easier on everybody. Uh, this is Guitar Teacher, teaching you a little bit of math right here and now, and we'll see you all next time. Be blessed.